The lives of two detectives, Russ Cole and Martin Hart, become entangled in a 17-year hunt for a serial killer in Louisiana. This is my review of True Detective Season 1. The first time I heard anything about True Detective was um, when I saw an ad for um, the series on YouTube. I was searching on YouTube one day and I saw this ad for a new TV series on HBO and I was like, okay, let's check this out. And I saw the trailer and I thought to myself, wow, this looks like it could be really good. And um, it was a month away, so I had it on my calendar um, and then watched the first to last episode of um, season one with my dad and I have to tell you guys that True Detective is a really good crime drama um, thriller sort of series. The good points. So there are really three main elements about True Detective that make it a really good um, series so far and those three elements are the directing, the writing, and the acting. I thought the characters played by Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harrelson were um, really well written and really well acted out by, um, like I said, Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harrelson. And Matthew McConaughey played this detective that is a little bit of a weirdo. Like, he says a lot of weird things um, with um, his partner, um, Marty. And uh, Marty is like the sane person of the duo. And sometimes when he hears these things from Russ, he's like, do you ever think about the things you say before you speak? And if I were Marty, I would say the same thing as well because um, Russ says a lot of strange stuff throughout the entire um, season. So I thought that Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harrelson had a really great chemistry together. I thought that the scenes that they were both in were really fantastic and scenes that had other actors were great as well. And I wouldn't be surprised if Matt McConaughey and Woody Harrelson got Emmy nominations for this um, series because they, like I said, were really fantastic. So that was the first element I would want to talk about. The next element I want to talk about that made the show great was the writing. The writing on the show made this season very realistic and I hope that they keep this realism throughout the entire series as they go through with um, the next season. And one of the reasons I like the characters that were played by Woody Harrelson and Matthew McConaughey was because of the dialogue they were given and I liked the situations that they were in this season. I also liked the writing because of the backgrounds of the characters that we see in season one. So pretty much all I have to say is that the writing is awesome in season one, I think. And the third and final element that made a show what it is, is the directing. I can't remember off the top of my head who directed um, each of the episodes from season one, but all I have to say is that whoever directed um, each episode did an amazing job. If you guys know who directed um, each of the episodes, and comment down below. But really, all, the, all I have to say about the directing is that there were many moments where it was interesting, and many moments where it was intriguing the way it was directed. And one of the best scenes from season one, in my opinion, was that one-shot take where um, Russ is undercover in the in that like really bad neighborhood. And if you guys saw season one already, then you know what I'm talking about. But if you haven't, um, look for the episode where Rust is undercover and he's in this bad neighborhood and there's this one shot take and it's a really good one shot take in my opinion. And I liked how the directing kept me um, focused on this story. I mean, the writing helped as well, but um, the directing was directed in such a way where when there were these long scenes and that were a little bit slow paced, it still kept me interested in the scene because of the way it was directed and the way it was acted and written. That's why I think that these three main things are really important for the show because they make scenes that like would be um, boring, like intriguing. And speaking of the pacing and the editing, I think that the pacing and editing are really good in this um, series so far. Whoever edited this series did a great job because they knew um, how much time to take on each scene and where to focus, like um, like what happened and everything from the story and from the characters. 
And I liked how the flashbacks and present day moments were placed throughout the season as well. And for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, um, the, the, the first season anyway takes place um, uh, in the present, but like most of the first season um, takes place in a series of like flashbacks. The final good thing I have to say about um, the first season is that I thought that the costume design was good for um, the 90s look and everything. I also thought that the production design was good um, for the um, flashbacks during the 90s, but really the, the costumes from the 90s like stood out the most because it's like, yep, that's 90s costumes. The bad points. The only bad point I can come up with is with who the serial killer is, like the revealment of who the serial killer was. And um, if you've seen True Detective, then wait a second because I'm gonna go into that in the spoiler section. Alright, ratings for True Detective Season 1. Like I said, I saw the first season with my dad, and my dad gives the first season a 3.75 out of 4 stars, and I give the same rating, a 3.75 out of 4 stars. Um, like I said, incredible directing, acting, writing, um, the costumes are good, the story is, like, and fantastic. Um, I don't know if I would compare it to Breaking Bad because Breaking Bad and True Detective are sort of two different um, concepts in a way and like you can try to direct I mean you, ju you can try to um, compare the, dir the directing, the writing and everything but really you, can, you should like try to keep those these two series like separate because they're just different in some ways so if you haven't seen True Detective yet, then you should go see it right now because it is a phenomenal series in my opinion. For some people, it may be a little bit slow and boring, but if you're really into like drama series and everything, then I think this is for you. Or if you're into like crime drama or police dramas and that, then I think this is for you as well. Alright, the spoilers for True Detective Season 1. If you haven't seen the first season yet, then get out of here now because I am spoiling, um, like, who the killer is and, yeah, just please go because this is, like, really big and this is, like, what the whole point of the first season is about, but okay, let's get into it. So as we find out in the end of the second to last episode, um, the groundskeeper person, like the custodian, is the person that's the killer. And when they revealed that, I was like, oh my god, wait, that's the person that Russ came upon and talked to like just for like 10 seconds and then went away at that school. So after um, the second to last episode ended, I like couldn't wait for the season finale so like we could know like a little bit more about this person's backstory. But when the season finale came, uh, the writers decided not to tell this person's backstory, which I thought was a little bit weird since, uh, like, the whole point of, like, the first season was finding this killer and we're not really given anything about his background. Before I saw the episode, I thought, like, they would do, like, a few flashbacks or something, like, give us, like, sort of an origin story about this serial killer and, like, about his first kills and why he's killing everything. Now, someone may, like, counter me by saying, well, John, like, the, like, Rust and Marty, like, already found out, like, through evidence and everything, like, about why this person wants to kill. And I would, like, counter them by saying, well, yeah, I know that, but I just want to see it, like, through some flashbacks and see, like, what it was like through, like, his, like, in, in his point of view, like, what it was like. But even though they didn't show, like, any flashbacks or tell us any backstory, about this person, um, the season finale was still good in my opinion, but that part I just didn't like about it, and that's why I gave it a quarter deduction. Now some people are saying that um, we're gonna see Rust and Marty again in the second season, but I don't think so. I think True Detective is sort of like American Horror Story where every season there's a new story and new characters every season, so I think next season we're not gonna see Rust and Marty, and some people are mad about like me and other people saying that because it's like, well, like, what about all these other loose ends that they didn't tie? And it's like, well, you real, and well, this is trying to be realistic, and in real life, you don't catch all the bad guys all the time. So, guys, that was my review for um, True Detective season one. Hope you like it. Um, 
And again, for those of you that haven't seen it yet, and I hope you guys didn't watch the spoilers, um, but for those of you that didn't, that haven't seen True Detective yet, then go try to watch it now on HBO if you can. Um, it's a great and phenomenal series with great acting, directing, and writing. And other than that, that's it.